Come on, little girl. We're gonna go sit on our bench and we'll talk. Catherine Hilker is the things. cheetah lady at Just the Cincinnati Zoo. Things. There you go. Oh, you're such a good animal. You're such a good animal. Catherine's also become the cheetah lady for the world. It's not an exaggeration to say that Catherine Hilker is responsible for starting a movement that's saving the cheetah from extinction. You know, I think when I see a cheetah, you, you feel all the intensity of their lives. I literally see uh, the essence of this world, everything that is lovely and bright and beautiful and just so vital. You're a good animal, you are. You're a good animal. Catherine's attachment to animals started as a child riding horses and growing up on her family's farm in Mason. Catherine is a true animal person. She understands animals really at an intuitive level. She really does think as an animal thinks and perceives the world that way. C, oh, big C. Catherine started at the Cincinnati Hi, Zoo everybody. as a volunteer. <laughs> In the 70s, it was her idea to bring Listen. animals around to the schools. She started small with an owl and a snake, but even that was pretty controversial back then. Our then director, Ed Maruska, stood very firm and said, this is a good thing, we'll, we'll do it slowly and carefully, and now, of course, every zoo does this. Great huge hind feet, very slender waist, deep through the heart, wonderful chest, small head, all these things tell you that this cheetah is fast. Isn't she a wonderful cat? The school program started with a little financial help from Frisch's founder, Jack Meyer. It is hard to say no to Catherine. Uh, we have not found that possible yet. With Frisch's support, she created other programs at the zoo, including the Cat Ambassador Program. She calls, we write a check. She calls, we write a check. She calls, we write a check. Look at her go! Look at that crazy thing! Watch your slide! Look the cheetahs that. have oh, become man. the signature <laughs> program at the zoo. Man, did you see the mud fly? That cat is determined. That's Sarah the same cheetah that set the world record in September as the fastest animal on land, zero to 60, in under four seconds. If Catherine had retired after her work at the zoo, she would have left behind a great legacy. Instead, she committed her life and resources to saving the cheetah from extinction. And the idea of no one ever knowing cheetah or experiencing a cheetah run is overwhelmingly heartbreaking to her, and she couldn't let that happen. Catherine learned a lot from her first cheetah, which she named Angel. She was raised as a baby at Catherine's farm, like many of the big cats at the zoo. Don't take it personally that we're standing so far away no, from No, that's here. okay, that's okay. Catherine and Angel went all over the country telling the cheetah's story. When Angel died, Catherine started the Angel Fund through the zoo. Angel had taught me enough to know that what I was doing here was not enough. So far, she's raised over a million dollars to support conservation efforts, like the zoo's program for breeding cheetahs, the most successful one in the world. Catherine and her husband Carl have spread their work to Africa. He bought these 28,000 acres of desert land in Namibia as a cheetah preserve. When you save land, you save it all. They also support the innovative work of conservationist Laurie Marker. She uses dogs to <laughs> save the cats. Laurie gives away Anatolian shepherds to local farmers. The dogs are trained to protect sheep and goats from attack by the cheetahs. <laughs> the cheetahs are frightened by the bark because they're very timid. But those dogs will stand their ground to anything anything. The idea is working. Farmers have stopped shooting the cheetahs and for the first time in decades the cheetah population in Namibia is stable. This is where they should be. They look normal and they act normal and, and they, they belong. It's so neat. In 1900 there were 100,000 cheetahs in the world. 
Now we're down to about 12,000. And until recently, they were disappearing fast. When she was a child, she read in a book that cheetahs would go extinct in the year 2010. And that's now. This is 2010. Oh my word, I never thought of that. Oh, oh my word, they're not extinct. They're not. <laughs> in fact, they're doing better. Catherine's been called a cheetah in a woman's body. It's clear she has a special connection to animals and especially to cheetahs. She also has a passion for them that makes her unstoppable. That's how she turned those classroom visits into a worldwide program that will save the cheetah, leaving all of us with a better world. By never giving up and through good times and bad, Catherine knew that this program, the Cat Ambassador Program and the Cheetah Encounter could have a significant impact to Cincinnatians, to zoo visitors, but also all the way around the world. Without the support of Cincinnati, I could never have done this, not in a million years. No, nope. I disagree. It's all about one person making a difference in the world and showing that it can be done in a faraway place, all because of one person's will, desire, stamina on the issue. Only Catherine. She's great. She's just great.